Hello everyone, welcome to Cook Me Curves Coding Class. Today, I'm going to show you the very basics of HTML. So that you can, like, understand HTML, so that it will be very easy to learn how to do different things in HTML, and quickly make your own websites. So, once you know these things, you should find a code editor that is, you're really comfortable with and you like to use. For the moment though, just pop open a text editor. These things are handy and simple. Exactly what we need right now. So the first thing you need to know when learning HTML, this is like crucial, is tags. So a tag starts with this less than sign then it has the name of the tag whatever it is i'm using the p tag as an example it stands for a paragraph and then there's a greater than sign right after what the tag is called and there are many different tags there's like header or um h5 i'm just using p as an example then inside see this is this part right here is called opening the tag this thing and then this part here is called the inside of the tag so inside of the tag you put like whatever text the tag has in it if it's a text thing so like if i put a uh, hello world and p tag is for small paragraph text p stands for paragraph and then you close the tag. Closing the tag looks like this. Again, the less than sign, a slash, the name of the tag, and then a greater than sign. And it's that simple. Now we have a little small paragraph text that says hello world in it. Super simple. Then, now that you know that, you can use pretty much any HTML tag. And they can do many different things. Next I'm gonna show you attributes. For this example, I'm going to use the image tag. And this will come in handy, this image tag. You use it to put images. So, you have this image tag, right? And image tag are one of the rare types of tags that you don't close. You don't do, you don't do this just something you don't do because you don't put anything inside the image it's just an image but wait how do you tell the computer what image you want this is where attributes come in attributes are the things that go after the name of the tag but still inside the opening part so this attribute is source and the way you do attributes is the attribute name equals and then inside of quotes what it is so source here src is where to get the image from so i'm going to paste in this url which actually never mind this is the url to the oogle logo which i'll show you in a bit so now you understand attributes hopefully now i'm going to show you another thing this is how to make a link, which is another example of attributes. So, make an A tag. A stands for anchor. The link tag does something different. Don't use the link tag when you're trying to make a link. It won't work for that. Use the A tag. A, and then href. This stands for hypertext reference, and it is an attribute. Equals in quotes the link this will when you click on it it'll take you to the oogle logo please don't mind all those banging noises i'm not sure what's going on out there and then i'll just put inside of the tag link and then close it and notice that you don't put the attributes when you're closing the tag you always do it when you're opening the tag. Remember that. And now 
There's just one more concept you need to know, and that's it. Which is tags inside of tags. So, for example, if I have a P tag with like all my paragraph text, blah, 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 and say this is a news article about some new website or something, and you want to put a link to it. So, inside of this P tag, you put an A tag. A pref equals hi dot com, and then hi, and then you close the A tag, and then you can close the P tag. And what this does is it puts a link inside of your paragraph text. So that if you change this to an H1 tag, which makes the text really big, you can have a link inside of there. Like that. But make sure that you don't do this. You don't close a tag that you opened inside of this tag, outside of it, like, like that. Don't do that, because then you have, you have the H1 tag, inside of it you have an A tag, right? And then over here you close the A tag, that's bad syntax. You don't do that. Most browsers will just ignore it, but older ones will screw up. So don't do it. It's improper. You have to do it like that. And that is pretty much it. Now, if you look at, like, any HTML thing, you, like, want to find out how to do something, you understand tags and attributes, which pretty much are everything you need to know to know how to write HTML. And there are many, many tags, like the button tag, which makes nice buttons. Or the input tag, and this one, by the way, you don't close either, which makes a nice little text box. And that's it. Now I'm gonna show you all this code I just wrote being run. So I'm going to call it um, html.html. I'm very creative at naming these things. And I'm going to save it. Minimize this. Put there. Okay, got Firefox and now I will drag html.html into Firefox. And look, there it is. Hello world, the paragraph, the image, that's the Google logo, the link, which when you click it, opens the Google logo, the blah, 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 big thing, where it says hi, and then the button, which on my version of Firefox for some reason does not look like a button, but will look like a, a button on most browsers and then somewhere down here, oh, there it is. There's the text box. Again, you can't see the text box on my version of Firefox because it's weird and it makes buttons and text boxes not have borders, but they should have a border and they will look good on different platforms. My computer's weird. So yeah. That's all you need to know to, like, write HTML, and then you can look at different tags and how to do different things with it. So hopefully you learned something from this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and check out Kid Z down here in the bottom right corner of, his, of the video. There's a link to his channel. He's a vlogger. He's pretty cool. Again, thanks for watching.